There is one simple rule for protecting Israel. Whoever tries to attack us, we attack them. The second rule is there are no free gifts. We will bring our boys back home and there are no free gifts. Our correspondent Jordana Miller is joining us now live from Jerusalem. Jordana, we just heard Netanyahu saying we will bring our boys home. And on the same day as the Israeli prime minister says this, the family of one of those boys he's referring to in Israel's highest court. Take us through what they're pushing for. That's right. The family of Hadar Golden, uh, he was one of the soldiers who was killed uh, in the 2014 Gaza war, his body being held by Hamas. Uh, that family saying they are tired of hearing the prime minister say that he's going to bring these boys home, that not enough has been done. So they filed a petition today in Israel's Supreme Court asking that the justices there try to enforce a cabinet resolution passed earlier this year um, that uh, they would work hard to bring the boys home. They they also urged Israel in that petition not to uh, not to release those bodies back to uh, the Gaza Strip as a bargaining chip. All of this coming on the same day, as you said, that uh, the prime minister made those remarks, which, by the way, may be really the most encouraging remarks this family has heard since their uh, boy was killed, their soldier was killed in the uh, in the war. Because of course, the Supreme Court is very unlikely to step in uh, in this case, as it did not in past cases. This is seen as something that's outside of its jurisdiction. Jordana, you, you mentioned that maybe this is the best thing they've heard from Netanyahu in a while. And indeed, there has been a fair share of criticism towards the Israeli government for how they have handled or perhaps not handled the presence of those two soldiers' bodies in Gaza. I, I Actually, there's some... I can't hear your question, Nuri. There's a lot of noise on the on the IFP on the All line right, here. All right, Jordan, I'll, I'll repeat, uh, hope, hoping you can hear me. Essentially, there is criticism of Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli government over how they've handled those soldiers' bodies being in Gaza. I still couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, Nareet. All right. Well, we'll jump to our uh, diplomatic but, uh, correspondent. But I want to tell you a little bit. I want to tell you a little bit about the Go reaction ahead. to the prime minister's remarks sure. here, because it seems to be that he is saying that Israel will hold those bodies and use them as bargaining chips. And we see that there's been really a growing chorus in the prime minister's party, Likud, to actually get behind the prime minister and say, yes, we should use these uh, soldiers as a bargaining chip. We should not return them, even in the opposition. Uh, Avi Gabay, who just won the head of the Labor Party. Uh, he also chimed in. Uh, so we're seeing that this position now may be something that Israel is going to move forward with. We're going to have to wait and see.